In this video, I am going to show you how I grow sprouts in the RV while I'm traveling. But first, we're going to do a quick lesson on what sprouts are and why you should eat them. Basically, a sprout is a germinated seed that is actually a small plant. Sprouting seeds tends to increase the nutrient level in whatever it is that you're sprouting. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description below that you can go to to find out more about the nutritional value of sprouts and the benefits that can come from eating them. The website below will explain, while there are many, many benefits to eating sprouts, there is also a caution because they have been linked to outbreaks of food poisoning if they're incorrectly handled. So you do need to take care of your sprouts, but the benefits far outweigh any risk that's involved. Most people have probably eaten sprouts probably alfalfa sprouts. They're fairly common. You can find them in most grocery stores in the produce section and they come in little plastic boxes. But there are so many more varieties of seeds that can be sprouted. They're very easy to grow and an ideal mini garden for your RV. You can sprout peas and beans like lentils and kidney beans and garbanzo beans and soybeans. The list goes on. You can also sprout vegetable seeds like broccoli, radish, mustard greens, even clover. Then there's the grains. Did you know you can sprout brown rice as well as quinoa and buckwheat? And then we have the nuts and seeds like almonds and sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Usually sprouts are eaten raw, but you can lightly cook them. So now let's get started and I'll show you how to sprout sprouts. When I first started growing sprouts many years ago, what I had was a wire mesh disc that fit on the top of a canning jar and you used the, the metal ring to hold the wire mesh to the top of the jar. Now I have a new method, same idea, but I have new lids. And these lids, I got these ones from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description below where you can find them. There is a fine mesh as well as a wider mesh and it depends on what kind of seeds you're using as to whether you would use the the fine mesh area or the wider mesh area to strain your seeds with but they're really handy you don't need the metal ring which I did find started to rust with the metal mesh and that wasn't so great this method with the lids I find is the easiest for in the RV when you're looking to buy seeds to sprout you can buy them at health food stores, some grocery stores, feed stores. I order mine from Amazon just because it's easy and the price is pretty good. The brand I use is Food to Live. And these are the broccoli seeds. This is a large bag of broccoli seeds and it's going to last me quite a long time. I'll leave the link to them below in the description. These are the radish seeds that I use. I usually order a large bag, but they were out of the large bag, so I ended up ordering two small ones, which ended up being about the same price anyway. And these are organic seeds. So I started these radish sprouts several days ago. They are beginning to sprout. You can see the little white tails coming out of the seeds there. Now, every morning I grab my jar of seeds and I run water through this mesh lid. You don't need a lot of water, which is one of the things that makes this ideal for in the RV because it doesn't use up a lot of water. Swish them around a little bit. These radish seeds are large seeds, so I can use a wider mesh to drain them through. And then we just pour out. These seeds are the broccoli seeds and they're much smaller. They are still soaking in water. So I started these ones last night. When you first start seeds, you let them soak for about 12 to 24 hours. Generally, I go 24 hours because I go from when I started them to the next day about the same time. So these broccoli seeds have been soaking for 24 hours now. And because they are a smaller seed, I'm going to be using the smaller mesh on the top here to strain them. And I'm just gonna strain that water that they've been soaking in out. So now you can see they're all strained. And now I'm going to add fresh water. And I'm gonna give them a good rinse. So now they're all rinsed out and I'm going to dump this water down the drain as well.
these are actually quart jars. Normally while I'm traveling I use pint jars but I'm actually growing these sprouts for more than just myself. The same lid will fit on any wide mouth canning jar, any mason jar, which they're really easy to find. You can generally find a canning jar in a secondhand store for about 50 cents. So now we have our broccoli and our radish sprouts on the go and we're going to come back and check them again tomorrow. We're back to rinse out our sprouts today and we're on day four of the radish sprouts and this will be the second rinse for the broccoli sprouts. So again we just take our water and we pour it into the container through the lid just enough to get them wet. Give them a good shake to rinse them off. And again, dump the water out. The radish sprouts have sprouted quite a bit more since yesterday. You can see all the little white sprouts coming out of the seeds. The broccoli sprouts are just beginning to pop out. There's a few little white spots in here which means they are starting to sprout. This is before I've rinsed them. You can see in there there's a few little white spots which are the seeds popping open. So now we'll rinse the broccoli seeds. Give them a good swish around to rinse them off. And dump out using the fine mesh because they're a small seed. So these are now ready to sit and we'll come back and rinse them again. We're going to start another smaller pint size jar of the radish seeds. I really love the radish sprouts. They have a really nice bite to them for salads and on sandwiches. So when I'm finished the big jar, I've got some more on the go. We're going to put two tablespoons of the radish seeds, which are the bigger seeds, into the pint jar. And that will fill the jar with sprouts when they're done. So I'm taking my measuring spoons, which I have to show you these because I love these measuring spoons. You know how most of them come and they've got a ring and you, you know, you go to use your tablespoon and the rest of them have to be washed as well because you use the tablespoon. Well, these ones are magnet and I really think it's such a great idea. They magnet back together. I think they are so cool. I just love them. We're going to use a tablespoon one only and not have to wash the rest of them. And get our two tablespoons of radish seeds into this jar. And now I'm going to add the water and swish them around so they're all nice and wet. And then I'm just going to put one of the lids on And they're good to soak overnight until I come and do the other sprouts. When I'm traveling in the RV and I have sprouts growing, I try to keep them out in the light because they need not direct sunlight, but they do need light to grow. So I have this little caddy that has compartments in it. And I keep the seeds in one compartment. And I can put the jars into this separated compartment where they don't bang against each other. The pint jars work really well in here. Here's the jar of radish seeds that I've just started soaking and it fits in there. And I have another pint jar that I will probably start in a day or two that fits in to the other one. You can see how nicely everything fits in there. Now this caddy I didn't get on Amazon. <laughs> I actually found it in a chain store here in Canada called Winners. And I think the equivalent to winners in the States is probably Ross Dress for Less. It was in the baby section. And not only is it perfect for babies, it's perfect for sprouts. I'll just take the little carryall of sprouts and seeds and I just set it in the sink when I'm traveling so it stays nice and secure. I'm going to leave a link down below to ones that I did find on Amazon in case you're interested. Here I am, back to rinse the sprouts again. I'm just going to grab them out of the sink, grab the water, and we'll rinse. 
So this is now day five for the radish sprouts and they are really taking off right now. So I'll show you those before I rinse them. There's all the little white sprouts coming out of the seeds there. And here's our broccoli seeds, looking kind of cool, clinging to the side of the jar. I'll show you that before I rinse them. See all the little white sprouty tails coming out? And there's the bottom. And then we have the radish seeds that I began to soak last night. And we're going to dump this water out and give them a good rinse with some fresh water. So first we're going to rinse out the radish seeds. So you can see how much water I've put in there. It's not a lot, it's just enough to cover the sprouts. And I'm going to swish them around. And then I'm going to go to the sink and pour them out. Give them a shake just to loosen up the sprouts. So you could start eating these now but I'm going to give them a few more days because after a few more days, they will actually fill the jar. I may not get to that point in this video, but you get the idea. So now we're going to rinse out the broccoli seeds. So this is their second rinse. I'm putting less water in them because there's less of them to cover. We're just going to give them a good rinse. Make sure all the ones that are stuck on the sides actually get rinsed off. And then again, using the small screen, I'll pour the water down the drain. They don't need to be sitting in water. They just need to be wet. So now I'm going to dump out the original soaking water from these radish sprouts and we're going to add our fresh clean water. So I'm rinsing them with the fresh clean water and then I'm just going to dump this water out as well. You just rinse them every day until they're the size that you want to eat them at. Then I just put them all back into their case. I've taken the seeds out of here because I've got the three jars. This is how they travel in their little caddy. When I'm parked for the night and I do have some daylight left, I'll take them out and I'll just put them on either on the table or on the counter behind the sink and just let them get some light. You don't want direct sunlight, you just want light. Here I am back to rinse the sprouts for one last time before the end of this video. I'm going to be leaving the broccoli sprouts in the jar to sprout for a few more days. So let's go over to the sink and we'll give these sprouts one last rinse before the end of the video. So here we have the caddy with all the jars of sprouts. And we're going to start with the last one that I began sprouting and that was the radish seeds in the pint sized jar. I'll show you how they're beginning to sprout. You can see all the little white sprouts coming out of the seeds. I came in and rinsed these ones out this morning. So this is their second rinse for today. So there's the water. We're gonna swish it around. Give them a little bath. And dump out the water. You wanna shake out as much of the water as you can because as I said before, they do not need to be sitting in water. They just need to be wet. Now with these jars, I haven't said this before, but you can keep them upright like this, or you can put them on their side. It's really up to you. If you get put them on the side, you can shake them. They have a little bit more surface space to sit. Whereas when they're like this, well, they stick to the sides of the jar. They tend to accumulate on the bottom of the jar, which is fine. It's whatever works for you. Now here are the radish seeds that are ready to eat and I will give you a good close-up shot of them. I like radishes and these ones taste like radish. They're just little sprouts but they already taste like radish and they just give the salad or a sandwich a really nice bite. I just love that. So I'm going to rinse them out
Now because these ones are ready to eat, they can come out of the jar. What I'll usually do in the RV is I just put them into a Ziploc bag and then I put them in the fridge. And I will try to eat them within two to three days. So I've rinsed out the broccoli seeds and you'll be able to see quite a difference in how much they have grown overnight. Because I'm on keto, I eat a lot of salads and I like to get as much nutrition out of a salad as I can. And by adding sprouts to my salad, I'm upping the nutritional value of the salad quite a bit.